This presentation is about the surface modification of polybenzimidazole, PBI, with microwave generated vacuum UV photooxidation. It's published in the journal Current Microwave Chemistry. PBI is a membrane that's often used in hydrogen fuel cells, where the hydrogen produces the proton, which transfers through the membrane to go to help with the reduction of oxygen to form water, a nice clean energy source. PEI is often dope with phosphoric acid, which greatly increases the proton conductivity as a result of hydrogen bonding with the nitrogen containing groups in PBI. Here's the nitrogen containing group in PBI, proton is transferred through the phosphoric acid. For high temperature fuel cells, this, uh, there is a loss of the phosphoric acid from the PBI. Therefore, the goal of this research was to modify the surface of PBI with BUV photooxidation to provide additional hydrogen bonding sites to attract the phosphoric acid in order to reduce its loss from the membrane. Here we show the microwave discharge of argon flowing through the discharge at 50 standard cubic centimeters per minute, whereas the discharge is at 2.45 gigahertz with about 30 watts power. The photons from the discharge are aligned with the sample here, and we're flowing oxygen over the top of the surface. So the photons can interact with the surface and cause a modification, the photons can also interact with the oxygen to uh, change the oxygen and break it down into oxygen atoms. So the photons are 104.8 nanometers and 106.7 nanometers. Here's some of the results. Quantitative. XPS results show that the oxygen atom concentration here goes up to 15 atom percent, whereas the nitrogen atom concentration remains constant. And there's a, a tremendous drop here in the contact angle measurements. The surface becomes more hydrophilic. It decreases down to 43 degrees, and it's more attractive to the protons. So our conclusion, microwave generated vacuum UV photooxidation is shown to be an effective technique for oxidizing the surface of PBI, increasing the hydrophilicity, but potentially enhancing the procon conductivity in high temperature proton exchange membrane fuel cells and redox flow batteries.